Nom nom nom. How it huffing, Jankhead? Welcome back. Far Cry Primal time it is now. All right time. We're back and we are uh, in. Uh, this is the outpost that we took over. One of them. Have we taken over two? We have now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was that first one that we took over, which is a particularly party one, I will say. I will say, the Udon do have pretty good uh, outpost location picking skills. But, that's not what we're actually here for. That's just where I uh, spawned in today. Our actual objective is right up there at that hill. We're going to take out a bonfire, first and foremost. Just get this thing out of the way. That's a good boy, Walter. You get all healed up now, son. He just done tagged me another goat. There she is. Skin her up. Fantastic. And now, let's see, our objective is right up this hill. Uh, Walter's not necessarily the most ideal thing for a bonfire, but our pet selection is actually looking very light. I would love to tame some more things today. That is definitely another goal. Okay, we do have at least a couple of boys around here, though. Do you have some fellas, at least? Let's pull out the owl. I reckon it's probably just him and maybe one or two others. Yeah, do we have even a horn blower or anything like that? I don't think so. Just an archer and two berserkers. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right, return owl. Walter, we should be able to do this together, pal. I'm gonna send you after the archer, get them distracted, and then I'm going to, oh god, oh god, oh god, alright, you know what, we're just going to run it, and then, oh, nice, he got the other one, well done, well done, Walter, well done indeed, you are quite the, you know what, you're quite the battle companion, I mean, as a wolf should be in, and as they were, man's best friend indeed, munch, that's a good boy, now, let's just light up the big thing. How do I switch between these again? Scroll. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. And light it up. Oh, and then... Jump! Oh, got, a, got a decent jump. They're usually on such high points, it just makes it perfect to jump and then ripe up. Some, I've gotten before that, like, I've jumped... Fe, fa, fell. Fellin? Fellin? Fallen? Fallen. Fallen. Like... 50 feet, and then, like, right before I hit the ground, just teleporting back. And, man, is it exhilarating. All right, well, there's another bonfire. Let me grab the little trinkets and such that these boys have. My man's had some hard wood and some meat, don't we all? Now, since we have that, I guess, you know what? Over in this area, the next thing for us to do is probably the Woga, dif the Woga uh, mission. Difficulty hard. Get, get high XP from it. Recover straps of the old window totem from the Udom. Okay, okay. So I assume we're just going to have to find some Udom, kill some Udom, take the Udom stuff, which is really our stuff that they stole from us. Hello! Reeds? Bruh. Alright, let's go over there. Uh-oh, I think I hear something nearby. Walter, get out of here. Get out of here, boy. It was a good hunt, but something else is out here. What are you? What are you? Oh, it's a lion. We can get Peaches back. Perfect. Peaches is a very valuable ally. Not as good as a rare Peaches would be. But you're a very good Peaches nonetheless. Welcome back. Now, if I can just find a Jaguar, I'll get Luger back and we will have our whole team back. Pretty sure. Haven't taken anything else yet. Well, good. Alright. Definitely good to have the Lion back. I will get Walter back out for now, though. Oh, damn, that was a snag. Oh, shit, dude. I had Walter on him, but that spear throw was clutch. That's what I'm talking about. Back up with the meat. I'm just hunting goats galore out here. They're kind of just running right in the direction of the mission, and so you can kind of just, like, pick them off one by one. I, although, I am out of gosh darn arrows now. I would love another craft arrows, although two at a time is honestly a serious upgrade enough in and of itself to be... Pretty nice. You can get quite a few arrows for sure, as long as you keep your uh, hard wood stocked up, which <laughs> you know I do. Did I miss that? Damn. Blood was farther away than I thought he was. The lo Oh, shit. Oh, the quest just started. Okay, well. Uh, tag to identify the totem looters. Alright. 
Walter, uh, I might as well call Peaches back out for this one, especially since we're going to be specifically tagging stuff. She can help us with that, so we'll get her out. We'll keep the bow out for now, and then we're just going to have to tag, so I guess we might as well start with an owl. They shouldn't see us behind one of these redwoods. That's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. Now, what I do remember for this one is that as soon as you spook them, like as soon as they see you, they sprint for the woods, which I would very much so like to avoid if possible. So we're gonna try our best at stealth. I'll admit having Luger would be nice right now, but uh, I mean we can work with Peaches, that's for sure. She's certainly more dangerous, more powerful. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's actually that many guards, but the guys, those guys, the guys with the actual markers on them are the ones with the actual totem pieces, which are the ones we need to loot to finish the quest. Got it. All right, Peaches. You ready for this, girl? Are you ready for this? Oh, she's ready as shit. Look at her. That's a good girl. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go after... Ooh, oh, my God, there's a guy right there. Okay, we're going to go after this guy first. I'm going to sick Peaches on them, and then I'm going to go over here and take you down and just try to pull you back. Oh, they saw me. Okay, didn't go perfectly, but we got one dead at least. Oh, come on, you bitch. Come on, you bitch. Come on, you bitch. You ain't running from me, bitch. You ain't running from me. I right, got that one. He did explode, which is very annoying, but it's fine. We can just eat something and then kill bro and then go after this guy. All right, hold on. Hold on, buddy. Don't get too far away. Don't get too far away. And then we can also do this. Oh, they ain't even running yet. Oh, too easy, man. Good job, Peaches. Now, all we should have to do is search the... Oh, I guess I probably have to search both of them. I don't have takedown search yet, which is nice to get. Getting takedown search is nice. You can just automatically search every guy you stealth take down. If you stealth take down a whole group of them, you can just auto-search them all. Nice. I don't know how this guy died. Maybe Peaches got him? Peaches probably got him. She does that. Nice. All right. Well, that one was actually quite easy. I know that one can be tougher if they actually get like a good distance away from you. Oh, shit. Oh, Peaches, you going after him? Oh, God. Okay. Well, I guess we're fighting. <laughs> Peaches just... she's This this particular Peaches is a little bit extra ravenous. Ooh, got them. Got them. Good job, Peach. Oh, and we got another one. Are you... Oh, you're one of the other guys, but I guess I just didn't need to kill you, nor I just didn't happen to kill you either. Oh! Fucking domed, baby! Come here, Peaches. Let me give you some meat. That's a good girl. You get healed up. All right, nice. Let's, um, I guess maybe let me loot that guy that I just shot. Oh, was this, was this guy? The bro that got domed? Hello, bro. Nice. All right, well, doing well so far. Moving quick, moving hot. What ought to we go for? We could do the village mission. We're actually getting pretty close to that, and that's, that's easy. It's all the way out here in, in, like, the medium territory, but it is just easy. So you might as well get that out of the way. And what is this? Help the Ouija place a spirit totem. More spirit totem stuff. All right, well, you know what? That's the theme for the episode is the spirit totem episode. Very cool. Ah, what the shit? Oh, you bitch. God damn it. I always think they're uh, jaguars at first, but they're just these little goddamn snakes, man. At least they're bright red and they do hiss at you whenever you get nearby, so they're easy enough to avoid. I don't think I've gotten bit by a snake yet. And no. Actually, maybe I did. I kind of feel like I did get bit by a snake. It's hard to avoid. But uh, oh, only one I'll, I'll even take. I'll take that. Oh, nice. Got him right in the shoulder and still took him down in one. Are there more? <gasps> Look, a Rafflesia. Pick the red leaf. I don't even know if red leaves are useful to me because I can't revive my beasts. And we got some incoming. All right. All right. All right. You take him down. Did I hear a jaguar as well? Oh, they killed a boar. Okay, well, I'll take that. Ow! Don't you dare kill me. 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 Oh my god, their spear got me so close, dude. Domed, brother. You do... Uh, oh, she's fine. Okay, she barely even took a single notch of damage. I could have sworn I heard a jaguar at some point, which I would love to recruit. Is that what he's hunting? He's chasing something, it looks like. Where are you going, dude? Oh, yep, that is a jaguar. Hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 oh, it's right there. It was right next to me. Okay, get this, and then, uh, Peaches, you go out of here. 
Chuck the bait? Come on. Go after the bait. Anyone? <gasps> Dude, nice. Peaches and Luger are going to get back right in the same episode. Hell yeah. The kitties are back. They're back! And I'm going to be better at, at keeping them this time. It is definitely tough. I have learned that keeping pets in expert survival is no easy task. However, I am going to be a little bit more sparing with them. I know Luger... I mean... Luger is just not meant for hand-to-hand -hand combat really at all. So as soon as, like, they spot us when we're trying to go stealth mode with Luger, then we just got to call her out, call Peaches in, or just go in ourselves. Oh. Oh, fuck. Damn it. They spotted me right before I spotted them. Unfortunate. Ain't that the way of the Predator, though? Ain't that it. All right. Well, we should be right... Uh... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, shouldn't we be right on top of it? We are literally right on top of it. Pop! Spirit Totem. Help the Ouija place a Spirit Totem. Sounds easy enough, my guy. I guess I'm going to immediately no assume Totem Place is near. Why am I... Hold on. Uncrouch. I'm going to get Peaches, because I assume this is going to be like an escort mission. So we want just kind of the strongest fighter we have. So, all right. Peaches, get out here. Get out here. Now, let me also just really quickly... In skills. Right, I don't have this yet. Well, we'll see how many skill points this mission will give me. I guess I don't know until we're done. I should have looked beforehand, but. Alright, search for the lost toad. Oh, we gotta actually track them down first, it would seem. Which direction am I going? This way. Alright, this way. Oh, that's a fun campfire. Someone really built this right in the perfect little, like... I guess they could have actually dug this out. Still, cool. And they got some free meat. Oh. Wouldn't mind getting some... Boar? Was that not a headshot? Nah, I tagged him either way. You know what? Finish him off. Oh, search for the lost totem. Okay, so we're actually finding a totem. We might not actually... This might not actually be an escort mission, then. Oh, I do see some udon up there, though. Okay, interesting. So I guess this is kind of just like a search for the object mission. Did you get him? Where'd he go? Is that him over there? No! Oh, come on, dude. My boar is right there. Oh, you bastard. Well, all right. I'll admit I don't love that, but whatever. Whatever. Let's do a quick fly over here to see what kind of guards we're actually working with. Because I saw a few boys up here. Got you. Gaul. Uh, I saw more than one. Oh, the rest of them are back here. Okay, so they're really just, like, keeping a bird's eye view on this whole ass place. And that's my thing. So, I'm not really chill with that whole business. I don't see exactly where the totem spots are. Or maybe one's right there. There's a dead guy right there, so I bet that's one of them. Interesting. Okay, any more guys? One down there, a couple more over there. Okay, so there's a few on each side. Although, if we could come at them from behind, it's going to be kind of hard to get up there. But if I could come at them from behind, that probably would be ideal. Because they're kind of spaced out. We could probably stealth them all. Honestly, does almost make me feel like I want Luger back for this one. But I think we'll stick with Peaches. Oh, I could climb up to here. Oh, that's what I should do. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can make it up there. Oh, it's right there. And perfecto! Alright, nice. We should be able to get a... Oh, I hear somebody yelling. They don't see us. <gasps> okay, never mind. They saw it. <laughs> they immediately saw us. Well, that's a couple of fresh domers. Love that. And then... Okay, more boys over there. Well, fine. We're not going stealthy. Oh, God, dude. God, I love the upgrade bow, I will say, because that shit, I, I'm almost positive, was not a headshot. And he still went down in one. It doesn't happen with the Azila, but for the just, like, basic Udom guys going down with one shot to the torso, I don't know if they always do. Maybe a shot to the leg wouldn't kill him, but still. This thing is pretty goddamn lethal, I will say. It's good to get this early. Now, there's just a couple left. Where's the actual totem spots? I think one's here. Oh, oh, that's not a dead guy. That's a dead goat. Oh, this is some demonic type shit. Some sacrificial shit. Interesting. Is this not one? Oh, 
Oh, there's a totem spot, but there's no totem. Oh, did I just hear a bear? Did I just hear a bear? Oh, I can't tame a bear yet. Damn it, I was about to say that's perfect, but I just saw how I can't actually tame a bear. All right, whatever. Tell you what, Peaches, you just get over there if you can. We'll see what she can do, and then I'm just going to quickly dome bro here. Pop. Oh, wow, man, the thing was red and everything. That is tough. Shouldn't have even gone for a headshot, I guess. And then, oh, shit, needs more arrows. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, don't worry, buddy. I didn't forget about you. There we go. All right, now, killed the guards. The totem spot is, I guess, is there just one? And it's down there. I could have sworn there was two earlier. A little bit of meat in the sack. All right, I'll take that. And then down here. Oh. What? Oh, I definitely hear a bear somewhere. Okay. Well, I don't exactly know where it actually wants me to go at this point. Because now it seems like the marker's over on this side. Oh, is there a guy right there? <gasps> God, please work. Please work. Please work. Yeah, baby! Oh! God, that's the best. Completely negates your fall damage. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't. I meant to search him, not pick him up. But All right, I do definitely hear a bear. He's right there. Can't tame him, right? Just, I, I made sure of that. Oh, we're close, but no Seeger. Okay. Um, We're just going to evade, bro. I'm going to recall Peaches. Just get her out of here. We're just going to go after the totem. Oh, uh, uh, that's you, right, Peaches? Right? Yep. Okay, she's just... Taking the long way. God damn, bro. Is this where... Oh, that looks like a dead guy. He must have it. He must have it. There it is. Place the totem on the altar. Okay, so now I gotta take it to the top and place it on that altar we found. Okay, cool. Oh, God. And there's snakes. Of course there's snakes. Uh... Why is it always snakes? Where are you, you red little bastard? I don't know if you can club these fuckers, honestly. Because I feel like if you get too close, they just instant... Oh! Well, I didn't hear a noise, but he sure is dead as shit, so we'll call that good. And I guess that's just, that's the only thing up here, maybe, perhaps? Maybe, perhaps, even? Did I search you? I did not. Hello? Thank you for nothing. Damn. This place is, uh, definitely scarier at night, just with the goddamn goat sitting out in the middle. Oh, does this still have stuff in Oh, sure. Okay. Okay, use one of those. Makes sense. Okay, I guess, is that it? Okay, I guess it was, you know what, it was an easy mission, shouldn't have been expecting anything more. I just, for some reason, I felt like I remembered there being, like, jaguars everywhere in this mission or something like that. Huh. Well, that one's pretty close. I could run, oh, it's really close. Alright, let's run over and grab this. This is probably just a mission mission anyway. So, we'll grab this, and then we still got a decent amount of time left, so we can still do plenty of stuff. Who knows what we'll do next? What do you want? Just a mission mission. Okay. Jaguars. Okay, well, that is that is intimidating, I will say. Where even is that? All the way down here? Okay, you know what? We could do... What was this mission again? Oh, the mammoth mission is down there. That could be cool. Alright, tell you what. We'll do this one. And then potentially push further south to do the mammoth mission. And then maybe also the jaguar mission. Very cool. This is just a kill, which is... Just straight up classic, find guys, kill guys. Love that. Oh, oh god, that bear is still here. I guess I could theoretically use more bear skin. He's certainly interested in eating me, so I guess I could try to eat him. Wait, oh, I wonder if I got another skill point from that mission, actually. Hold on. Hold on, this could be clutch. Mr. Bear, hold on, I'll be right with you. Oh, I'm only like halfway there. Alright, I'm not even that close. Alright, Mr. Bear, come here. Hold on, uh, let's do this, and then, hey buddy, you wanna eat me? You wanna eat me? Headshot! Headshot! Club! Club! Fire! Fire! Put out fire! Put out fire! Eat! Eat! Oh, we're good. Hoo-wee! That's how you take down a bear like a jankum. Double headshot, couple of clubs, and, uh, so, yeah, certainly doesn't hurt to light the bastard on fire, but, well, now I gotta wait for the fire to disappear so I can actually skin him. You know what, fuck it. Skin the bear. Skin the bear. Cook yourself while skinning the bear. Oh. That was actually fine. And there's a lion trying to creep up on me now. Very cool. Oh, he saw me looking at him. Crafty little hobbitses. Alright, well, that's actually terrifying because I assume he's still stalking me somewhere. 
but the forest fire might have scared him away. So, alright, let's go this way down to that mission now. Oh. I feel like I might just be dumb or crazy. Or both. But I keep feeling like I see shit, like out of the corner of my eye running around. Maybe it's just the little butterflies? Oh, there's a deer over there. Well, I guess I could try to tag him. Here. Yep. Oh, is that too high? Fuck. Oh, you know what? Actually, while we're here... Uh, I guess I actually do have a decent amount. Uh, yeah, you know what? We have enough stamina for this. And tell you what, uh, while we don't necessarily have to do this mission during stealth, stealth is definitely boosted during the night, and uh, I'm sure it would make it easier to do stealth. We will get a straight-up skill point for this, so that's awesome. Uh, Zila. Okay, we are fighting them. Taking over a fishing location. Take out their leader. Search the body. Yada, yada. Can do, my friend. Oh, is that... Is that the, the island outpost right there? Oh, it is. Shid, man. Shid, man. We're back to where the island outpost is. Well, we don't have to go out there, thankfully. We just gotta go this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So, this one, we're gonna start off with calling in Luger right away. Get up your bot. Now, we're going to owl up. And find all these feckers. And doing this at night, I think, is perfect. Because I'm pretty sure that you can do this mission, like, entirely stealthily with the Jaguar without too much pause. I'm pretty sure I've done it before, at least. Is there two Hornblowers? That is a lot. But that's what Luger's for. Because they have helmets, too, which can make uh, headshots tough. Okay, yeah, there's really not even that many. So, Luger, I'm going to get you started on... You know what? You go after them. Oh, don't go that way. Okay, well, let's hope they're stealthy enough. Damn, right past her. Didn't even notice. All right, let's see if I can take her out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Luger didn't even get a stealth kill. Are you serious? Okay, whatever. Just go get them now. Damn, they didn't even get a stealth kill. It's probably because it wasn't from behind, I guess. I'm out of wood. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was something I should have handled first. All right, you know what? Luger can take the rest of them out. Go after them next. I'll try to sneak up behind the horn blowers and see if I can take them out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Luger. Oh, sh shit. Damn, yeah. You know what? I, I I literally said earlier, as soon as we get into physical combat, I should take Luger out, and I didn't do it. Oh, God! Oh, wow! Shit, man. Damn, that was my bad. I really thought that I was going to be able to take that guy out with at least, I mean, a, a, a big hit from a heavy club? Is Luger just dead? No, okay, because I died too, so she's back. You know, it's not the worst strategy as far as keeping your pets alive, but... Alright, are you actually coming to me, or are you not? Okay, she's not here. Let's try it again. Yeah, let's try it again. <laughs> all right, perfect. With all of them marked again, we're going to send Luger on a different mission this time. I'm going to just send Luger to there. Just so she kind of takes a better route this time. And we're going to hope to try to actually get an attack from behind. If I could get a headshot right there, that's going to work fantastic. Now, Luger, you go after them. I want complete stealth here, buddy. Come on, a complete and total stealth. I did also get some wood this time, so we got a few extra arrows. Come on, buddy. You got this. You got this. Complete stealth. I think that was it. Nice, nice. Okay, go over there. Good job, Luger. Good job, Lugs. Okay, can I get a headshot on this biatch right here? Nope. Oh, god damn you. God damn you. Oh, man. All right, that's not going well. Reinforce. Oh, right, because the, the horn blowers, too. Damn. Okay, well, had a decent start, but, man, uh, I, that, that was a tough shot. I'll be honest. That was a tough shot to hit. So maybe I just need to rely a bit more heavily on Luger this time around. That might be what I do. Okay, got that guy. Nice. Oh, forgot to get wood. Great. Well, you know what? I got one. Let's hope Luger can get this guy full stealth. Oh, she's going from the front. Oh, she got him. Okay, take out her, too. From behind. Perfect. Well done. Okay, now 
Uh, we're gonna tell you to go over there. They still have no idea what's happening, so that's perfect. They're kind of close together now, though, so it's gonna be hard to get more stealth kills on them. I'm gonna go down now. I'm gonna leave Luger over there, so she's ready to pounce at need B, but she's not right next to me, so she's not gonna give me away anyway, anyhow. Now, if they separate, Lugs can definitely go after them. Oh, okay. This guy's turning now. Interesting. Okay, he's starting to walk away. I'm just going to try to knife this guy. Oh, there's a guy right in the middle. Holy shit. Holy shit. Lugs, take him out. I did not know he was there. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm just going to take this girl out. And then we have only him left. So, I'm going to try to get Lugs to kill him. Because if he sees me, he's going to immediately call reinforcements. So, that's a no-go. Okay. Uh, uh, Lugs, can you get that guy for me? For Papa? Can you do it for me? Oh! Get him. Get him. Get him. You got it, Lugs. You got it. And then all I got to do is search this guy, I guess? Okay, well. As soon as that guy's dead. Yeah! Nice! Nice! Minimal damage taken, too. Well done, Lugs. Got you, my boy. I got you, and now... I'm gonna feed you to the gators. Actually, are there any gators around here? I didn't even look. Okay, no. No gators. That is good. That's kind of terrifying, because we're definitely in gator territory. Alright, well, you did great, my girl. Uh, we did that mission, which gave us another skill. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, just for shits and gigs, we're gonna get Apex Predators. I mean, we might as well. Getting the, the tiger and the bear is certainly fucking sick. We might as all as ma might as well also go for Beast Rider now. Cause, you know, we can ride the tiger and the bear. Um, which will also naturally get us uh, Mammoth Rider on the way, which is only actually four skill points in total. So not bad. That might actually be what I go for next, because that will increase our travel. Uh, or decrease our travel time significantly. Arrow Quiver. Oh, nice. That needed a shitload of brown bear skin. And then the Rare Feathers. Nice. 24. Shit. Okay, I think I was talking about this in the last episode, but I was right that the... It's either Extra Mode or Survivor Mode. I'm going to assume it's Survivor Mode. Also decreases the amount of stuff you can carry, like, significantly. Because in the main game, I think the max arrows you can carry is... Either 36 or, like, 48? Like, you can carry a shitload. To be fair, it's not an amount that actually makes sense for a caveman to be able to carry. But 24 is definitely less. But, hey, I mean, we at least at least we maxed it out. So we know that we are able to carry as many arrows as possible. Let me actually give a quick look here. Need some south stuff. Need some north stuff. Leopard skin. Cave lion skin. Mammoth skin. Badger skin. <laughs> South stone, blood of Oros, need some south stuff, need some north stuff, more north stuff, and then bit of wolf skin for the winter clothing. Okay, nice. Nice. All right. Well, then, for now, we did that. We're down here. Let's do this. Let's do the mammoth mission. I, even one of the things I needed to do needed mammoths. That's perfect. Uh, I do not want a beast this time around though because they will get bodied by the mammoth almost immediately i can basically guarantee it now i'm going to get out a torch i would also love a campfire oh is that a zila oh it is okay uh let's take the uh put the torch away i guess check this out check this out check this out it's gonna be lit did i just hear a i might have heard a lion but it's fine yeet there we go, baby. That right there is what I like to call, well, it's just what it's actually called, is a knife takedown or a shard takedown. You can see that shard just sticking right out of the back of his fucking head. Oh, shit. What is that? It's roaring. What is it? Hello? I have fire. I have fire. I have fire. There we go. All right. If it was rare, I would have tamed it, but I'll just make that bitch run. Oh, do we need cave lion skin? Ooh, we might have actually needed it. Well, I scared it away for now. It's probably not actually going to even come back once I lit that bitch on fire. Lit its literal face on fire. I wouldn't come back. If I were it, I wouldn't come back. Uh, all right. Well, before we do the mammoth mission, I feel like it would probably be good to chill at a campfire. I did kind of just leave the campfire that I was just at, unfortunately. It was not very epic. Um, I guess there could be one kind of down here somewhere. A couple extra missions nearby, too. There could be one up there. I see light up there. 
Oh, shit. There we go, baby. There's a woolly rhino. Oh, man, they're so cool. These fuckers would be tough to take down. I do not have the spears nor arrows to do it. So I'm going to leave him alone. Oh, all right, well, the quest is right here. It's also nighttime, which I don't even think is ideal for this quest. So tell you what. Uh, oh, I could save. Is this just an actual mission? Oh, it is an actual save captive mission. Interesting. That's not necessarily going to take me to a campfire is the thing. I also still don't have the arrows. I really just need, like, my stuff. Which I guess I can't even get at a campfire in survival mode. Oh, that's right. I'd have to go back to the actual place. Okay, tell you... Ooh, there's a mask right there. That's interesting. Oh, and a pack of wolves down there. That's terrifying. Where's the mask? Oh, it's right there. Uh, okay, I have enough for at least one arrow. So this is another uh, collectible. This is the Izila-specific collectible. They're just masks that are up on cliffs that you have to... Shoot! There we go. Fantastic. Now, uh, oh, there's something right there. What is that? I don't know, but it's lit up. I guess here, let's go check out what's over there. Pack of wolves right there. All you need is a torch for them, though. Send them running and screaming and yelping. Huh. All right, well, we're a little bit out in the woods without without a base nor resources. Damn, okay, well, he got a couple good chomps off on me. Shit, man. Shit, man. Hopefully that was enough to just scare him off. Is this a... Uh, it's a location. Ooh, with a standing stone. That's cool. Location, but I don't necessarily think... What's in here? I don't necessarily think there's a campfire here. Okay, some reeds. There's a snake nearby. That's fun. Oh! And there's a zeal over there. Oh, there's a fire. Is that a campfire? It is! Wonderful! Uh, you know what? Let's make it easy on ourselves. I, I Not to jump to the nuclear option right off the bat, but they're just all sitting right there, lazying around. And you know what? I would love a front row seat to this. Hello, fuckers. Goodbye now. I don't even really need to crouch. I can just watch them. I can watch them die. <laughs> Stupid fire idiots. Nice campfire obtained. Oh. Oh, the actual campfire seems to be up there. Interesting. I would love to give these guys a quick search because I feel like they probably have better stuff than the Udam even do. Hardwood, meat. Okay, they have the same shit. Well, oh, there's a, oh, there's a Winja event too to deal with. Alright, well, let's see what this is. Oh, well, I mean, let's go deal with it. I'm not going to see what it is and then not deal with it. Okay, cool. He's dead. Uh, I think it's a. It said it was a rescue. I think. Oh, oh god, I see. I hear a lot of wolves around me, bruh. All right, hold on. Uh, take out this, and then let's go in deep. Oh god, is the Winja? Oh, the Winja's already dead. Nice, 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 dude. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, dude. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're probably the one who killed the fucking guy. Come here. That's right, dude. Get domed. Get domed, son. The other guy gonna come back? Usually when you kill the alpha, the rest of the wolves do run. Okay, I think we're chilling. <sighs> well, sorry, brother. Couldn't quite get to you in time. It wasn't even the goddamn Mazila that killed him. It was the fucking wolves. That'll happen sometimes, I guess. Uh, I do also need normal wolf skin, actually, if there was some of that lying around. I killed at least one of those. Did I skin the wolf that I domed in the absolute face and head? Mm, did I? I did. Okay. Okay, well, let's go over to the campfire now. Oh, actually, I'm going to grab a little bit of wood first, but then we'll go over to the campfire. I'll get a good sleep in. Um, at this point, I mean, honestly, with how much I've eaten, you really can eat enough to get your stamina up a decent amount, uh, which is nice. But, all right, let's go over here. We'll take a quick sleep. We might as well. I'll just sleep till dawn. I'm sure Takar is plenty tired. Goodbye, spawn of demon, Satan, man. All right, let's just sleep. And then, yeah, we'll do the mammoth quest. Sleep until dawn. All right, Jama, what do you got in store for me? The Great Beast. Join Jama's hunters to take down a Ninja mighty mammoth. I would love to. Whereabouts are they? Read the Winja hunting ground right up the hill. Okay. Now, from what I remember, I feel like while we take down the mammoth together, I feel like it's kind of my job to, like, get them to the place, which uh, in survivor mode is definitely going to be tough because our stamina is... Dog water to this day. Our speed just in general is really not great when we sprint for a while. Uh, but I guess we'll see what happens. 
Hell yeah, man. Now this looks like a place fit for killing a mammoth. Damn, check this shit out. He's gonna be tripping all over these things. Actually, just having a bunch of like big stones everywhere, like a mammoth could probably crush some of these, but also it's just gonna be like tripping on them and slipping on them and shit. It's probably honestly a pretty damn good idea. And we got this little like area here that we can kind of keep them boxed in. All right, well, we gotta talk to the lead hunter, was it? Hello? Takar! Leader here, then we hunt together. Right. So, right. So, right. You go out and anger the gigantic monster Colossus Beast, and then bring it back here, and then we'll all kind of, like, take care of it together. Cool? Cool? All right, cool. Cool. Uh, oh, there's that... That's the... That's the thing right there, huh? Can I, uh, just, like, take a pot shot? Come here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Nope. What are, you, uh, what are you doing? Oh. Okay. What are you doing? Is she not allowed to go any further? I hope not. Come this way, you fool. She's just freaking out. God, I feel bad now, too. Of course, it's got to be a mammoth. I mean, they're so cool. And it's like the, the coolest thing that humans have actually ever, like, hunted. Like, we actually hunted these things. But, like, they're so cute, too, you know? So, it's like, it still kind of sucks. Come here, you beast! God damn you! I don't even think she's able to get technically that far away. But, like, is she coming this way now? I think she maybe is. No, she's still running. Oh, God. If she comes all the way around this way, I might still be fucked. Oh, okay. She's going up here now. Um, Maybe I can kind of get some gain on her. Oh, please tell me I can go around this tree. Oh, I cannot do it as much as I thought I could. Is she chill? Oh. Man, they're so chill, too. There's gentle behemoths. Well, that'll work for me. Come here. You can see me now, right? Yeah, now you're angry. Now you're angry. Come here. Come here, you big lummox. Yep, she's coming. All right. God, I hope there's more spears and arrows and shit I can use up here. Yep, she's definitely behind me. Hey, big girl! Kill the mammoth. All right, hell yeah, let's do it. Is there more spears and shit I can use up here? It would be super cool if there was, because I am a... Oh, God! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, dude! I was not... I was not ready for it to just instantly target me. I don't know why. I mean, it would make sense, but oh, my God. Oh, my God! Hopefully, I can at least distract her for long enough so that the other ones can kill her, because there is no extra weapons here, bro. Uh, come on, come on. Can I, like, get up? Can I get up somewhere? Come on, up, up. Good job. All right, is there spears up here? Any extras? Did anyone bring any extras? Really? I didn't know this was, like, a bring-your-own-spear-and-hardwood type of mammoth hunt. Bruh. Okay, well, uh... Take that! Take that! Take that! That'll, that ought to do it. That ought to teach him. It doesn't even seem like she can really do much if we just stay up here. Although, of course, bro isn't just staying up here. Hey, hey, mammoth. Hey, mammoth. Oh, shit. God damn it. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't want to do it again. Oh. Oh, I'm so ill-prepared. I can't get any more resources from the goddamn resource cache. All right, at least I don't have to lure her up again. I have one spear that I can use. Well? Hey, girl. Oh! God, God damn, they're so big and scary. Ow! Shit, man. All right, well, you know what? Maybe I can at least, like... Okay, I got one. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. No! Ah! Ah! No! Shit! Shit! Ah! Oh, dude, you can't even get far enough back on the ledge to avoid the tusks of doom. All right, um... Fuck, man. They really do not have anything for me here. I don't know how to help kill this thing. I could get, a, I mean, a solid, like, headshot uh, with the spear, but I kind of only got one, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. All right, we're just going to try to be the bait. We're going to try to be the lure. We're going to try to keep it aggro and keep that rock thing in between us. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You want some? You want some? Come get some. Maybe I can even pick up a spear that falls off its ass or two, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I picked up an arrow. That's something. Another arrow? Okay, this is working. This is working. Come here, you big lummox. Oh, you know what else I could do? That ought to help, I would think. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's doing constant damage right there. Oh, keep it moving. Stay over there. See, this, honestly, I got to hand it to him. This mammoth kill pit is pretty much, pretty ingeniously designed. 
having the big thing in the middle is working pretty well. Let me just go ahead and... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Well, might as well. Oh, I just hit the fucking fireplace, you dick. All right, I'm picking you back up. Oh, and we did it. Down she goes. Oh, good lord. That was intense, but pretty goddamn badass, I gotta say. Had some fun shit right there. Walk free, big mammoth spirit. Walk free. I need your skin. I think we get multiple mammoth skins for killing a big one. Two. We get two. Okay, I think honestly not in survivor mode you get three, but I'll take two. Can I craft anything with that? My hunter belt. Three traps and one sting. Ooh, two sting bombs would be pretty cool. Although, I know we also need mammoth skin for this. Full health food, ultimate boost, rare... Pl Ooh, rare items placed in your reward stash each day. Maybe that's good to get early on. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to save the mammoth skin for this. I could go run and get a bunch of slate and reeds and just make Sailor's level 2 hut real quick. And we'll start getting rare stuff in our in our rewards stash each day. It seems like a good thing to get as early as possible. So you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. First things first, though. It's only fitting. We killed one. Might as well learn to ride one. We'll get mammoth riding. Crafting. Can I craft anything else? No. Fine. Okay, cool. Well, I think we'll leave this episode almost here. But... First, I do want to go back. Oh, there's a couple of new missions here anyway. Uh, is cheaper... Oh, okay. <laughs> for some reason, it looked like it, it. I didn't have enough, but then I literally read, you have enough stamina for fast travel. All right, well, I guess that means I'm probably good. All right, now that we're here... Oh, yeah. Let's first things first do this. How much slate and... Ooh, okay. Well, I unfortunately do still need a lot of slate and reeds to be able to actually do that. But that's fine. I'm going to just take a bunch of random crap from in here so we can remake all of our tools, get our stuff all back in order. And then I'm going to go run and grab some slate and reeds real quick just for funsies so we can get Sailor's Hut upgraded because that sounds pretty cool. Oh, you're waiting right outside my hut. What do you want? New Wings of Born and Oros Childs needs Moonheart Mushroom to make Spirit Strong. Of course he does. All right, hold on. I just actually realized I should Sleepy Poo first. And I should grab some more meat because I used the other meat to make some bait. All right, let's get a good sleep. Sleep till dawn. Then I can go grab the resources. Although, there's actually two more missions here now. Or at least actually one more mission. I think we just got to go talk to Woga because he should be rebuilding the Spirit Totem that we retrieved at the be very beginning of the episode. That was the first thing we did, if I remember. Well, other than the bonfire. Wakey, wakey, Takar. I know I made you sleep for an entire 24 hours, but still, I need you up and at them. Moonheart can do that. I think that's a cave mission. Cave's very important in this game. As you could imagine, a caves would be in a caveman game. Uh, we haven't actually explored any yet, but there's a lot of caves that are basically all their own missions, each with two collectibles, like... They're all basically mazes, but there's a lot of them with, like, unique stuff in them. And those are going to be fun to explore. But that's also just a cave mission. Many dead beasts to car, all sick. Is this another sick river? You must find what makes them sick. Okay, well, that's another investigation quest. Nice! There we go! Well done, Woga. She's looking fantastic. Smells good, too. Smells like home. Okay. Sorry, bro. I didn't mean to blow up your spot. I, I let the artist work. He just said back. Mm. Dung, tar, and udam blood. The, a breakfast of champions. <laughs> Yummy. Makes totem hard as tree. Right. So shit. What was it? Shit, piss, and nut? Or shit. 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 Piss and udam blood? No. Wait, it was shit something and udam blood. Shit, dirt, and udam blood, maybe. Is basically cement. I buy it. That makes sense to me. Nice. Well, totem constructed, all thanks to us and Woga, who is uh, a great guy, even though he does still call me Piss Man, which does feel a little uncalled for. Like, we are friends at this point. And, oh, do you have another quest for me? <laughs> oh, maybe I just accidentally accepted the other one before he gave it to me. Cool, whatever. Let me go grab the reeds and the slate that I need, and let's get this... Let's get the cave wife, cave wife's house upgraded. How you doing, Karush? I do love Karush's little area. He's got all the skins, and he's also got the... Uh, the watchtower, which we can climb. A very primitive watchtower, but a watchtower nonetheless. Let's just keep a good watch on the whole area. All right, enough stalling. It's time for resource grinding. Ow! 
Ow! Fucker, dude! God damn it, I killed one boar and now this other one is just fucking my absolute day up. You know what? You know what time it is, bro? It's fucking spit roast time, homie! I'm gonna fucking skewer you over a fire with that spear I just lodged in your goddamn living face. Your living brain and face. Little dicks, dude. Little dicks. God damn, I haven't even found that many reeds yet. I still probably need like five more. Hold on, how many, how much, how much of each do I actually need? Just as a quick check. Seven of, seven more of each, god damn. Okay, there's the last read, thankfully. Oh, oh shit, we have a goddamn uh, Ouija event up here. Let's go check this out. I definitely hear something happening up here. Is it a skirmish? Yep, it is. All right, shit. These you do actually have to get to, like, pretty damn quick, because if you linger, then they'll probably be over by the time you even get there, and uh, the Ouija do usually lose if left to their own devices, which is, you know, a bit unfortunate, but... Explains why you need to protect them the way you do. All right, well, a couple whiffs there. Actually, you know what? They should have. I think they should have won. There's only one Udom left and three of them. I think they're gonna be fine. I retract my statement. All right, well, I still need an absolute shit ass buttload of slate, and by that I mean seven. However, it is taking a while to gather, so it feels like a shit ass buttload. But I'm almost there. Uh oh. I don't think so, bitch! Oh! Oh! You thought you could! You thought you could, but you can't, bro! That's what happens when you start uh, picking around Eagle Mountain. You get swooped by an eagle, even if you're up there or not. And now I hear wild dogs. Well, one of them could be rare. That could be kind of cool. Do I see a rare? No. Alright, looks like I just gotta kill some goddamn puppies. Not my favorite activity, but hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, that was easy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just called Walter out, but buddy, I need you to get out of here because I got something else. There's something new up here. There you are. There you are, my friend. You ready to join the ranks of the Jankum Beast Army? You fucking better be. Oh, are we, uh, are we tameable? What's, what's happening? Why are we still... Weaken it first? What? Wait, you have to weaken animals? You have to, is this like a survivor mode thing? You have to weaken stronger animals before you can tame them? What the fuck? Is a spear to the face enough to do that? I guess not. I don't want to kill him. Oh, God. I should be more worried about him killing me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you do it, you bitch. Don't you do it, you bitch. Don't you do it, you bitch. Throw the bait. Throw the bait. Throw the bait. Get him hooked on the bait. Come on. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. And tame. 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 Well, shit, man. That makes taming beasts a hell of a lot more intense. Fuck. Well, hey, you know what? I'll take that. I got my favorite animal, the brown bear, because look at how cute he is. And we can ride him pretty soon, too, once we get... Well, I need two more skills. But, hey, how many skills are we going to get for this? 3,000 XP? That's enough. Oh, sick, dude. We can actually ride this bear by the end of the episode. Nice. All right, well, first things first, I still need to find more slate. I haven't found any yet. Oh, oh shit, I just heard more bears? Well, fuck, I don't really need it anymore. I guess I can maybe use more skin. Is that multiple bears? Oh shit, dude, it's one of my favorite animal interactions. You can find bears fighting. Oh shit. Usually one of the bears runs away. He just fucking killed that bear. Well, shit, bro. I got a bear of my own, and he's about to whoop your ass, homie. Oh, unless he's just running. Maybe he's just running. Well, fine. I'll take the free b brown bear skin for sure. Where'd you go, bro? 
Where did you go? I guess maybe he's a little weak from his fight, so he didn't want to immediately fight me again. Well, all right, he ran off with my spear, which kind of sucked. Oh, no, he's right there. Hey, buddy. Oh, God, I did not mean to just slide right past you. That was insane. That was crazy time right there. Did not mean to do that. Get back here, bro. What are you doing? Why are you running from me, homie? What are you doing, broski? What are you doing? My bear's going to whoop your ass. My bear's stronger than your bear. That's right, buddy. I mean, I, I gave him an assist, but he still whooped his ass. That's what I'm talking about. More brown bear skin? I don't even know if I need more of this. Okay, I can carry more of it. That is at least good. Do I need any of that? Do I need it? Oh, well, I can make the longbow. That was unexpected, but I guess that was probably from the stuff I got in the resource cache. Well, that's good. And we can make the guts bag with the dole skin. We can also make, oh, another guts bag with the yak skin. I just need some tall elk skin. All right, I don't need any bear skin at the moment, but I assume we'll probably need more at some point. That's a skin you need a decent amount of. But we do have the longbow now, so that's cool. Weapon switching, dude. Dude, I know how it works, man. Come on, man. But check it out. This is the longbow. It does not have an upgrade. This is just the only version of it that exists. And it has quite the zoom compared to the normal bow. Here, let me give you a little normal bow zoom. Basically nothing, actually. And then longbow zoom. That's what I'm talking about. Check that shit out, dude. That's like double magnification. And it, oh, without even any arrow drop, it shot that thing. Let's see... If I can, let's see what the arrow drop is on, like, this range for this thing. Oh, it nailed that green plant versus this. If I shot it right at that, I can't even see the green plant. But if I shot it right at that green plant, it barely makes it there. Well, there you go, people. We now have what is essentially the closest thing we will get to a sniper rifle in this game. Very cool! Ooh, actually, before I do this on second thought, uh, I think I might send you off, because I don't really think you're going to be able to make that journey with me, pal, if I'm being honest. So, goodbye. See you later. See you later, pal. He will be nice and useful, not only because we can ride him, and he's the only rideable thing that can go in the water, which is also, like, you know, that's nice. Uh, he can also get some little resources for us. That's not really the best thing about him, though. It, the, really, the best thing about the bears is that they do draw in enemy attacks. So, for things like escort missions, Missions, defend missions anything like that he's our guy he's also just our new strongest fighter really so if we want to just take down an outpost guns are blazing he's what we would use whether we're riding him or not although we will be riding him by the end of this episode goddamn mark my words even though i still have not found any slate hello gent ma'am hello mr bear oh god okay well this is quite the dangerous mountain to be on did I miss that? I think I might have missed that. Die, please. Oh. Oh, God. The choice between healing and just continuing to whack the bear will forever haunt me. But I got another brown bear skin. I am full up on that shit. I can carry 12 meat? Oh, because I upgraded the guts bag. Shit, dude. I got to upgrade that shit again, dude. I can carry 16. That is so much better. I didn't even realize the dog shit I was working with until now. Oh, I would snipe the hell out. Oh, they're angry at something. Oh, these guys right here. Let's get a good snipe. If I can. Oh, this is going to be tough. Did that hit him? Oh, God. These do travel kind of slow. That got him. All right. I'll take that. Nice. All right. I mean, it's, you know, versus a sniper rifle, it's really just a very long lobbing device. But, I mean, it's something. Now, there's got to... Oh, okay. There's a little bit of slate. Can this give me three, or can it only give me two? Because the other one's going to give me two, I think. Oh, god damn, bro. And did I hear another bear already? I did. Look at that. Oh, shit. Look at that. There's a fucking bear right there. He's just eating the fucking udom. Are you not scared of this bear? Oh, your friend died. Sorry, bro. All right, well, I'm going to kill this bear either way, because I do not like him been chilling. Hey, where are you going, bro? Where are you going, bro? Oh, get back here. You gave me my spear back. That was mistake number one, bucko. Bucko friendo. If, if friend-shaped, why so dangerous? Oh, God. Oh, God. Because bears are nature's gladiators. They're, to, they're for humans to test their strength. 
Fantastic. God damn, there's a lot of bears around here. All right, well, hopefully there's at least some more slate as well somewhere. Lost camp? Oh, interesting. This is kind of like a, a mini outpost where no one is. Where actually am I? I've kind of just been wandering around for a while trying to find slate. Okay, we're pretty far up in no man's land, I will say. Hmm. Well, all right. I mean, it's quaint. It's nice. Uh, I would move in if I didn't already have a home, frankly. But I don't see any slate, so I'm also tempted to hate it, leave it, never care. God damn it! I feel like uh, since there's reeds near the water and alder and the like, the wood is kind of everywhere. I feel like the slate should be like higher up on the mountain or something like that. This was definitely a a, a gore pit for some hellish creature. But I still have not seen like any slate, even high up here. This thing really does go up high, though. I wonder where this actually goes. Does it go up even higher than that? Where are you taking me, bro? I think it's just taking me up the hill a little bit. All right. Oh! Oh, that was a rare hunter cache. So there is a reason for this to be up here. They gave me two rare... Well, it was a rare skin and then a something else rare. Nice, dude. Okay, well, shit. If you want a little uh, secret extra rare skin, come up near the lost camp. There's a little secret hunting cache hanging from that tree. Gives you a couple rare skins. Nice, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what off. God damn it. Woof. What happened to this place? The Tarshita Stones. Damn, yeah. I can see where they got their name from. Oh! Heart of Snake. Freaky. Is there anything I can actually do here? Is there like a collectible here? Or no, this is just a pit of water and despair. Very cool. Not slate, though. Oh! Oh! Hold on a minute. I just spotted something. I could have sworn that in that bush right there there's a kitty. Yeet! Got him! <laughs> Bro, he literally jumped like Tom when Tom is scared. Bro, got his ass. Hell yeah, we need a jaguar skin too. Alright, well, still not slate. Oh! Oh! There's something rare over here. Intra oh, it's a rare deer. Oh, shit. All right. Rare white deer. Well, these fuckers are pretty damn rare indeed, so certainly would not mind picking one of them off. Oh, they're still running. I don't know if they saw me. Oh, <gasps> there's two of them? Holy shit. Two rare deer right next to each other? Wait, that's insane. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Cool. Okay, well, shit. I gotta hunt these bastards down, which isn't gonna be... Easy. Oh, tell you what. We'll make it easier. Let me get Wolfie out. Walter, my boy. Hey, buddy. And I would love to not miss either of these, although they're running this way. It looks like that other weed is actually going after one, too, which, I mean, if he gets one, cool, but if he just scares one away, then. All right, Wolfie, get after him. I think Walter's honestly going to be our best shot at actually getting these guys. And of course, the Udom are here to take my fucking kill. All right, he's running that way. Fucking snagged him, though, I'll tell you that much. All right, bro didn't get one, I don't think. Walter should at least get one. I don't know where the other one went, though. Dude, I would love to get two rare deer skin. That would be so sick. Is he still right there? I think the other one was right there. Hold on. Hold on. There he is. There he is. There he is. Walter, get him. Get him, boy. That's a good boy. I think we might actually get both of these rare deers. Rare white deer skin. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Come on, Walter. You got this, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I hear a lion nearby, too. Oh, God. All right, hopefully he's just keeping his distance. Walter, you got this, pal. Don't let him escape. I am way slower than you guys are, unfortunately, but I think Walter's still on him. It looks like he is. I mean, I still got eyes on Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Get him, buddy. Get him. Come on. You're so close. You're so close. Fuck, dude, this deer is just barely outrunning him. I think Walter's kind of got to get lucky and, like, get the deer stuck at least a little bit. Come on. Come on, you little bastard. If I could just get hit him once, then he'll definitely go down. Come on, Walter. You got him. You got him. Come on, boy. 
Yeah, that a boy, Walter. That is my man right there. Hell yeah. One rare deer, and now two rare white deer. Hell yeah. I don't know exactly what you need that shit for, but I think it's like... It might even be like the double bow. No, it's like Jama's Hut or something like that. Level Jama's Hut level two. We only need one, and I have four. Damn. Well, I hope you need it for something else in that case. I mean, you still got a lot of huts to upgrade, but... Maybe like Roshani's Roshan, Hut uh, will need it too. Okay, well still, I need... Fucking still just one more goddamn... Wait, did I, did I, was I looking at that right? Was that another... Okay, no. One more slate. Come on, baby. It's nighttime, which is great, but... Uh, as long, if, there's just, if there's just one little slate sitting around here, then I can just go home and we'll all be good. Oh, shit! There's one right here! Oh, let's go, baby! One slate. Exactly the amount I needed. I don't need any more. I don't even care that you only gave me one. Fast travel, yes, please. All right, sick. I don't, I didn't actually remember exactly what the other things we unlock for doing this is, but I know one of them is rare shit in our goddamn reward stash each and every day. So I'm looking forward to that as well as the 3,000 XP will certainly be nice. But we also get the full health food recipe, which do we just unlock that right away, or is that a skill? Ultimate boost food recipe. I guess we just immediately unlock those, which is kind of cool. That's just adding different types of plants to your meat when you eat them to give you like insane or you know various bonuses and such i hope you like it cave wife i made it especially for you and i took this and made this video an extra 20 minutes long full health boost sick rare items sick got the thing sick all right let's do a couple things real quick before we end off we're gonna get beast rider right off the bat i am also going to here let's look at uh really quick What's our actual, like, heal button? I do not know. Nope, that's the owl. Oh, well, I don't want that. All right, well, tell you what. Uh, I'll figure out what the actual heal button is by next time, and maybe we'll start using some of those boosts that we just got from upgrading Sayla's hut. That would be pretty cool. But I think you guys know what we need to do before we end off the episode. Bear Rider! Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Let's get us some goats. Let's get us some dinner, huh? Got one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, brother. Hey, brother. What do you think of my new ride, huh? My new steed. Pretty epic, huh? What's the actual, like, controls for this thing? There's, like, an attack button that it can do. What is the attack button? Shit, I don't even think it showed me the beast controls. Oh! Wait, is he jumping? I'm pressing space, and I think he's actually jumping. I didn't know the bear could jump. That's cool. I don't know what the attack button is, but I'll figure it out. Either way, I want that goat. Give me off the goat. How do I... Or, give me the goat. Oh! F is attack. Nice. So, yeah, on the back of the bear, you can F to fucking maul whoever's in front of you. You can also swing your weapon. You can also shoot your weapon, which is very epic. All right, get off. Get off. How do... Excuse me? How do I... What's the... How do I... Get off the... Get off the bear! Get off the bear now. Oh, okay. I think it's C? Oh, God. These... these <laughs> A lot of the buttons in the PC version of this game are not coming to me very fast. But hey, we figured it out. And now we have a steed, everybody. So next time, not only are we going to be getting from location to location much faster, although not as fast as we could be, because... We still got to get something else for that. But we also have a battle mount uh, that can swim as well. The only thing that can do that. So that's going to be fun. I guess a mammoth could probably swim too if the water was deep enough. Yeah. Either way, that's going to do it for this episode of Far Cry Primal. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Peace out, jankheads.